What's up, YouTube? Rich and my big law back at it again. I'm about to take a look at a, an alert. Um, Harvey Weinstein has been sentenced to 23 years in prison. Although I don't wish prison on anybody, um, you know, if you're gonna prosecute Weinstein, you know, or if you're gonna prosecute Bill Cosby, um, R. Kelly. You gotta prosecute Weinstein. You gotta prosecute uh, Fred Buck. You know what I'm saying? You gotta prosecute. You know, it's gotta be even. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be even. You know, even though I don't wish that on anybody, I wish everybody is the most beautiful life that they ever could have. You know, but it's gotta be even, man. You know, you can't be outraged at one and not at the other. You gotta be outraged at both or not outraged at both. You know? It's gotta be an even playing field. That's all it is, man. But let's go ahead and check out this alert. All right, Fox News alert now. Disgraced Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein sentenced to 23 years in prison. That came down this morning from New York State Supreme Court. He was convicted earlier, of course, of rape and sexual assault. Alex Hogan is live outside the New York State Supreme Court with more details. Alex, good morning. Good morning, Ed. This sentence just... Um, I wasn't even really paying attention too much to the case until they mentioned he tried something with Lapita, and Lapita kind of, you know, snuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? That really hit home, man, because Lapita, you know what I'm saying, that's like the sister, man. And it's... What? But... Man, I don't wish jail on anybody, man, but goodness, this is crazy. Coming out minutes ago, we know that Harvey Weinstein is sentenced to 23 years behind bars, and then he will have five years of post-release supervision. For the very first time, we heard Harvey Weinstein actually address the court. He hasn't done this throughout the trial. He was saying that these were all extramarital affairs and that these were friendships and he was protecting these women. But this has been an emotional morning for all of the women in court behind me. More than 90 women came forward what? through these years Goodness. saying that he sexually assaulted them, whether it was recently or decades ago. And those women, the two women at the cornerstone of the case, were able to address the court themselves today, saying that all of this really coming as a weight on them and the PTSD, the depression that they suffered in the years mm. following that. So again, here, uh, again, the breaking news that we should tell you if you're just joining us. And the flip side about it, man, they, um, or well, one woman went at Kobe, and I didn't believe for a second, you know, the allegations, you know what I'm saying? But these guys got 90, 100, Women all saying the same. That's 23 years. That is the sentence that Harvey Weinstein will now face as a result of this. Those women addressing the court saying that the 67 year old changed the course of their future, warping what they identified as and again their relationships with people. These newly unsealed documents that we received this week shows the final efforts by the movie mogul to try to shape the future of what this court case would look like in the scandal. His defense team also making a last ditch effort to try to get the minimum sentence. But again, we know that that was not allowed. He will face 23 years behind bars. Weinstein is currently in a wheelchair. The last time that he left the court, he actually went to the hospital instead of going to jail. That was because he had to undergo heart surgery. He's also suffering from a back surgery. And that's why we saw him time and time again in the courthouse entering with a walker. But again, now leaving in a wheelchair, we likely will not see him here. However, we are expected to hear from the defense team as well as the accusers lawyers so at a lot coming out of this and we'll be a lot here coming down indeed 23 years in prison is the bottom line alex hogan thank you for those details so there you have it man i'm just hearing so many uh, rumors that people are trying to normalize pedophilia the top um one of the top uh, female rappers you know that her husband is has to register as a sex offender man you know what I'm saying? I don't know too much about the, the case, if it's pedophilia, whatever it is. But that's a a gigantic voice. And she's saying that she's okay with this uh, lifestyle. You know, 
we see Weinstein getting 23 years, Cosby getting a number of years, Fred Buck being prosecuted, you know, they're, they're saying or uh, they're prosecuting um, like real famous black celebrities, but the white celebrities that are being prosecuted, many of you haven't heard of Fred Buck um, before uh, all of those accusations of murder and um, and um, drugging um, homosexual black um, gentlemen in the uh, nightclubs. Some of you haven't heard of uh, Weinstein until uh, you heard uh, Lapita sneaking out uh, his house trying not to get raped. You know what I'm saying? You never heard of them until, because that's like inside names of Hollywood. You never heard of these people. You know what I'm saying? So, and you could see that they're prosecuting or taking away like popular singers. People love R. Kelly's music. People love Bill Cosby's show. But they're not really taking too much from the other side, you know, behind the scenes guys, you know what I'm saying? These are people that we will miss, like Cosby and R. Kelly, like as far as their entertainment. We're not going to miss Weinstein or Buck. We don't know what the fuck they did, but they was behind the scenes, you know? You know, so they're trying to, um, they're, what they've taken away from us is like, way of a, you know, bigger scale as far as, um, you know, like a talent, you know what I'm saying? But hey man, I guess people, you know, celebrate this. Am I saying I'd be happy if um, Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise got arrested? No, I'm not saying that. I mean, I like uh, fucking, um, Jerry Maguire, you know what I'm saying? I like that, I like that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying, man, it's gotta be even, man. It's gotta be even, or, you know what I'm saying? It's just gotta be a separate world, man. And I guess jail is that separate world. Cause I mean, some people get away with a lot of things, man. You know, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to even be, you know, sitting down and talking to you guys, man. I'm blessed, you know. But, you know, like I said, I don't wish jail on anybody, but they say it's, uh, it's an even playing field, but man, it's not, man. Just start, look at the level of celebrity they taken away versus the level, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying if you did something wrong, you deserve to, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm sure that there are big names, you know, of the um, white community that have done worse. But they're not investigated, man. You know, they'll give you Weinstein and, and Buck, y'all could take them. You know what I'm saying? But we got these guys over here. Y'all ain't touching. But we're going to take y'all main motherfuckers. We're going to take y'all best uh, comedian. Y'all best singer. That's how we plan. You can take the, you can take a little wine thing. You can take a little buck, man. But we're going to take these two motherfucking kings and say, hey, nigga, y'all can't fuck with them no more. You know what I'm saying? But, it's, but rightfully so, because the shit they, you know, you know what I'm saying? If everything is fact, you know, all the accusation is rightfully so, but it's got to be even, man. But what are y'all thoughts, man? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe as well. <laughs>